Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sade Jernigan, and I'm gonna be sharing with you how I make healthy pancakes. So first off, I'm gonna start with the ingredients, all the ingredients that I use, and that's gonna be first, the flour. Um, it's totally up to you what kind of flour you use, but I use a combination of organic unbleached all-purpose flour and uh, organic sprouted whole wheat flour um, just because if you just look at the ingredients on here um, you're gonna see that the sprouted whole wheat flour has so much more nutrients and it's gonna help you feel fuller longer and a lot more satisfying but the reason why I combine it and I kind of do half and half with each of these is because I love the flavor of the more um, all-purpose right a lot of us do but adding this does add a good flavor and helps you stay full longer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my KitchenAid mixer right and I'm gonna put all the ingredients in there I'm gonna do two servings so know that you can do just one if you would like, but I'm gonna do two, two servings. So make sure you have that. And um, first I'm gonna go through all the ingredients and then I'll go ahead and um, just combine them. Um, so you're gonna need that and you're gonna need one egg. So one cup of whole wheat uh, flour, one egg, uh, two tablespoons of ground flaxseed meal, um, that makes it extra healthy because flaxseed is really good for you. Although I don't have that, so I'm gonna do it without that today. You're gonna do one tablespoon of raw honey. Okay, I have this kind from Costco. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Say if you don't have baking powder, um, maybe you can go ahead and do baking soda. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of whole milk. Because I don't have whole milk right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this almond milk. And then a half a cup of water, and also one tablespoon of coconut oil. I got this big one from Costco. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this recipe down there in the description, so that way you don't have to write it all down. So that's all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine these ingredients in the KitchenAid mixer. Now I like to add a little bit of butter instead of oil, and then I turn my electric stove a little bit below four, and um, later on I turn it back down. And now I'm just gonna move the butter around and then pour in the mix. And also I, because I used whole wheat, I did use less flour this time. Then I am going to flip it over and it's so good, especially because it's cooked in butter. Um, you can skip that step or do it however you like. Thanks for joining and please subscribe and like this video.